Hey guys, it's me, Drew. Welcome back to my channel. And as you see from the title above, this is going to be a Sensi October news video. Now, I cannot believe September's almost gone. Today is September 28th, and another month has blown by in the Sensi world, in real life, just in general. Harvest Collection has come and is still there. There's just some things that have sold out now, but we have a jam-packed October, and so much is happening October 1st that I decided to sit down and film a video for you guys, letting you know what's going on in the Sensi world this October. But before we do, I just got a very special item in the mail from Sensi yesterday. I didn't film, I'm not going to film a whole haul because it was just one item, but Sensi has decided that they're going to start bringing back some old warmers. And there were three, the harvest favorites. There was a um, turkey. There is a little plug-in Halloween. And then there's this guy, the Scarecrow. I love Scarecrows. I love all things fall. I could not not get this warmer. This is a ceramic warmer. And on the hat, you have the little sunflower there, a ton of of cutout holes to release the scent. You do have a glass dish that holds four cubes of wax right there. And then we have the warmer, which is a 20 watt light bulb warmer. That ceramic is gonna get nice and hot. You have his button eyes, his patched nose and mouth, and then a little piece of rope here. This is still available on my website or your consultant's website. It is so cute. I can't get over it, and he is perfect through the whole harvest season through Thanksgiving, so I highly recommend picking this up if you like it, because once it is gone, it will be gone forever. It's a limited time offer warmer, but it was just too cute not to share with you guys. I had to have that. Now, into some Scentsy news for October. As always, we have the Scent and Warmer of the Month launching October 1st. Now, I do have this warmer. It is stunning. I will insert some clips here of real life because I already have it set up, wires tucked away and decorated. I could not wait to unbox this. And I did showcase it at, I had an in-home party this week. So I did bring it with me because it was just too pretty. And it is called the Starry Pumpkin. It says this gorgeous gourd sets the mood. It's starry glow, mercury glass finish, and decorative metal wire lid give your decor a touch of simple elegance. It is seven and a half inches tall, and it is also a 20 watt glass warmer. It will be 5850 starting October 1st until it sells out. And if it does not sell out, it will go November 1st back to its full price, which is $65. It is stunning. If you're a fan of pumpkins like I am, you have to add the pumpkin scent to your collection. And then the scent of the month, pumpkin cashmere. Now, this scent of the month, for one, the color, I'm obsessed. It's like a peach color. It kind of reminds me of like a peaches and cream color. It does not smell like that. It says, surround yourself with a captivating combination of warm cinnamon, bountiful pumpkin, and cozy cashmere woods with top notes of pumpkin, mid notes of cinnamon, and base notes of cashmere woods. Now, I have not had the chance to melt this yet, but on cold, if you like cozy vanilla pumpkin from the last Harvest Collection, didn't add it to your club, is a sensey heartbreak, or you do love it, but you want to try something new, definitely try this. I will be honest... I expected a lot more of like that cashmere. Like I love fluffy fleece. I love cashmere and corduroy. I love cozy cashmere. And I was expecting a little bit more of that from this scent. But it honestly is more of a spiced bakery pumpkin than it is a like cashmere pumpkin, in my opinion. I don't really smell that cashmere, which also makes me wonder. I've watched a lot of videos, but nobody has said at least from who I watch, that you could melt maybe like a cube of cashmere and corduroy or a cube of cozy cashmere with this. I'm very curious to see how that would blend with the pumpkin because it's supposed to be pumpkin cashmere. So adding that, I might try that in my bedroom one night this week and see what I think because I do really enjoy this scent. It is a very spicy, almost like a rich, buttery pumpkin fragrance. It's very interesting. Definitely not what I was expecting, but I am going to try mixing it with some like cashmere silky fragrances to see how those evolve, evolve in a bedroom. So 
Really curious about that. And this bar is available for $5.40, right? $5.40, the room spray and the scent circle for the month of October. But as always, you can do a bundle and save. You can get three bars for 17 or six bars for 30, which you buy five, get the sixth for free. And you can mix and match any of the non-licensed fragrances. Now, Speaking of licensed and limited collections, Sensi is doing for October, Breast Cancer Awareness Month, a bundle of bars. Now, I will say, you do have to purchase the entire four-pack. You cannot buy these individually. I assume you can add these to Sensi Club. Um, I'm just not 100% sure, but I think you can. And this six-pack of bars will be $24 with a $6 donation to the Breast Cancer Awareness Foundations. Now, from what I understand from Sensi, it says, During October, we're donating funds raised through this collection to nonprofits in the U.S. focused on breast cancer awareness, treatment, and support. And we want to help organize organizations that matter most to you. All funds raised go to the Sensi Family Foundation, a 501c3 nonprofit, and then are donated to breast cancer organizations nominated by you. Learn more and submit your nomination at SensiCharitableCause.com. So, you're actually able to choose which donations, where you want these donations to go, which I think is really interesting. And then Sensi, I assume, will pick the most popular ones to choose. I'm not really sure the fine details on that, but I will leave the link down below to the Sensi Charitable Cause website for you to choose. But we're launching a warmer, we're launching fragrance flowers, scent circles, a Sensi Buddy, and pink light bulbs. All of those will be available on October 1st while supplies last, but... Part of them, the purchase price, there is a donation included in there that Sensi is automatically going to donate to breast cancer, which is incredible. I'm really awesome. I'm really proud to work for a company that supports that. Anyway, let's dive into the pink awareness bars now. Who do I think this is going to be great for? Well, anyone who wants to support the Breast Cancer Awareness um, Cancer Foundation, of course, but also Anyone who doesn't love fall fragrances and it's like all these scents are fall. These, I've already sniffed all of these, are very spring-summer in my opinion. So the first one we have is Positively Pink and it's this really pretty like mauve purple. And this is Raspberry, Vanilla, and Sandalwood. I love this. Now I've seen a lot of people say that the Hocus Pocus Bar Perfectly Wicked, it shares a lot of similarities. And I can agree, I have not melted the Hocus Pocus bars. I'm actually saving that for Halloween this year. But I am really loving this fragrance. I think it's really nice. It's my favorite out of the four. A little bit of fruity from that raspberry. And then there's that perfuminess from the sandalwood and the vanilla. It's a really, really pretty bar. So I, I really like that one. I'm probably not going to melt any of these until the spring and summer. I'm just not in the mood for these type of scents right now. Next we have I Pink I Can, which is coconut water, tropical stone fruit, and hibiscus nectar. So yeah, again, like a very fruity fragrance. Very fruity, tropical, body care type of vibe. This is my least favorite. It's just not, I'm just not into those fruity summery scents, especially right now. But it's nice if you like those coconutty, fruity fragrances. Next is Turn Up the Pink, which is Sparkling Citrus, Gardenia Blossoms, and Rosewood. And it's this very light pink wax. This is really pretty. You definitely get the citrus mixed with the rosewood, in my opinion. Gardenia Blossom just makes it like a very white, fresh floral. But it's really pretty. I really like this. It is a light spring floral. I think this will be great in January when... You're over the spring and or you're over the fall and winter scents, which I know I'm like, how could you ever be? But believe me, I definitely do. I get over those scents pretty quickly. So, but this is amazing. I like this. It's very light floral. You have to like like citrusy florals to enjoy that one. And then last in this collection is Pink Spreads Hope. And this is Pink Parfait Rose, Violet, and Leafy Greens. I like this. Oh, I love it. It's very rosy. If you don't like roses, you're not going to like this, but I absolutely love rose fragrances. And oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, is this rosy. It's so pretty, though. Oh, I love. Yeah, if you like those bright, fruity, rosy fragrances, 
I think you'll love this. I love it. It's so good. So this is the Pink Spreads Hope. Again, this collection and everything else I talk about will be launching on October 1st. Now, let's dive in to the holiday collection bar first sniffs. Well, not first sniffs, but because I've smelled all these, I couldn't help it. So on October 1st, I know we just launched September 1st, the Harvest Collection, but we are now launching the holiday collection and this collection is jam packed. I will leave a PDF down below for you to open up as well as my website where you can see under the collections tab, Holiday Collection 2023, all the products will be coming soon and they will be launching on October 1st at midnight Mountain Standard Time, I think. It's 3 a.m. Eastern Time. That's what I know. But the ones that I'm going to show you today are the Sense of Wonder collection. So these are the five fragrances that will be launching on October 1st. You can either buy them in a pack for $25 where you get all five and this little cute gift bag. And let's talk about the scents. Now, I am going to re review them from my least favorite to my favorite because there's some really great ones here. The least favorite of mine is Sleigh Ride. Now there's some deer and a sleigh. It's a really pretty packaging. Crisp Air, Fallen Fur Needles, and Tart Cranberry. I just don't really like Christmas tree scents, but this is very similar to Fairy Snowy Spruce. If you like Very Snowy Spruce, which is my favorite tree type of scent from Scentsy, because it's sweet. Spruce trees to me, are very sweet, almost like a bubblegum-esque vibe, which I know sounds crazy, but they just give you like a little bit of a extra sweetness to a tree scent that I really like. And I feel like that with this too. It is very like sugary tree, and maybe that's with the cranberry and the crisp air, but it is a tree scent, and I just don't crave tree scents, but I do enjoy it. Then we have Cherry's Jubilee. Why? I'm just not a huge cherry person. This is black cherry, raspberry, and zesty lemon. But it's so funny because when I say I'm not a, a cherry person, and then I sniff these and I'm like, wait a minute. These are all like, I like cherries. Like, I like a lot of cherry scents that Scentsy does. But this is very reminiscent to black cherry Merlot from Bath & Body Works, which I do not enjoy. It's just a little bit too cough drop cherry, and that's what this smells like. I obviously have not melted it yet. I will melt it and let you guys know. But currently, this is very cough drop-esque cherry. If you like those type of scents, those very Bing cherry, sharp, fruity cherry scents, then you might like this one. All right, next is Rum Pum Plum. Now, this is the one that I was, well, second to most I was excited about because I love my sweet plum pastry. It is one of my favorite scents from Scentsy. It performs for days. It smells so rich and fruity plum. So I was like, I need to try this because it sounds very similar. It is plum jam, vanilla sugar, and flaky buttery crust. Now, here's how I feel. I smell the bakery, which Scentsy does not do a lot of. You really can never smell Scentsy's bakery note in their wax. I smell the flaky buttery crust. If this had a name, Sweet Plum Pastry, I would be like, oh my god, yeah, it smells like a plum jam inside a pastry. Absolutely. But Sweet Plum Pastry is so fruity forward and sweet and almost like a macerated plum. Like it's so juicy and fruity and buttery that I'm just so associated with that and love that that now I'm like, I just can't get it. Like, I wish the plum in here was the plum from Sweet Plum Pastry added pie crust. Am I going to try to mix it? Absolutely. And see how it is. See if this brings that buttery note to the Sweet Plum Pastry. I actually want to try mixing some things with Sweet Plum Pastry, like crumb top, lots of different things. I have to be careful because I don't have a ton of Sweet Plum Pastry, and it's my jam. But, yeah. If you like Sweet Plum Pastry, definitely give this a try. It's a very fruity plum with that heavy bakery crust. I do enjoy it a lot. Next, cranberry candy canes. I thought I wasn't going to like this. I love this. This is so great. This is so Christmas tree. Fresh cranberries, or Christmas tree, Christmas time. Fresh cranberries, peppermint sticks, and pomegranate. 
I love this. This smells very similar to a Yankee Candle. Cranber uh, they have a cranberry candy cane, and it smells very similar. I love this. This is bright peppermint sticks, like fresh, up-your-nose peppermint stick. Bright, fresh, crisp air. I love. Beautiful. So fresh. And then that tart cranberry and the sweetness of the pomegranate. I love. I'm going to I'm actually going to order a six pack on October 1st of three of these and three of these. And then I'm going to order a three pack of just one of each of these so I can try those again. But this is so good. This is so good. If you like peppermint sticks like candy cane stick scents, you have to try cranberry candy cane. It is so great. And then last in this collection, vanilla barnwood. Okay. Listen. Vanilla amber and barnwood. This is so good. It's so funny, though. When I first smelled this, I was like, this is amazing. This smells very similar to Pacific Sandalwood. If you like Pacific Sandalwood, that was in the International Wax Collection. I think you'll love this. However, at my party on Tuesday, somebody's like, it smells like Fruit Loops. And then I saw somebody online. Right after that, I watched a video. There's a Fruit Loop note. I'm like, What? And there totally is a Fruit Loop note right at the end. Like this citrusy, like, like Vendor Wax Fruit Loop or a Fruit Loop candle. But it's so in the background. It's like this lightness of citrus, like fruity cereal milk. And I don't like Fruit Loop scents. But you're like, it's your number one pick. It is. Because the vanilla and the barnwood mellow down that cereal note to be so enjoyable that I'm craving this. Like, I cannot wait to melt this. Ugh, I love this. This is so, so great. If you like those Fruit Loop scents, but it can be a little overwhelming, try this. If you like Pacific Sandalwood, try this. If you like vanilla, but you don't like bakery, try this. So again, least favorite, Sleigh Ride, Cherry's Jubilee, Rum Pum Plum, Curanberry Candy Canes, and Vanilla Barnwood, all launching on October 1st on my website or your consultant's website, as well as the Disney Bar Season of Magic. Now, this guy will be launching as well on October 1st, and the notes on this guy are sugar crystals, frosty icicles, sweet pine, and wild berries. And I don't care for this. Straight up. It is way too piney. It smells like a cleaner. Like, I'm just honest, I don't like it. And to be honest, I have to be very picky with Disney bars because they're also $6.50 instead of $6 because they're licensed and you have to pay for that Disney licensing. It's rough. It's rough. It's very pine cleaner. That's all I can say. And hands down, my favorite Disney license bar right now, frightfully delightful. Shook. Never thought I would like it as much. It's peaches and pumpkins. Love. It's actually sold out right now. But if you add it to Scentsy Club, you should be able to get it. But anyway, this is the Season of Magic bar. You have Mickey, Donald, Goofy, Pluto, and Minnie all on there. And it's cute. It's definitely cute. I will melt it and see if it changes on warm. But right now, it is just not the scent for me. Now, there's so much launching. We have some warmers. We have some oils. We have Arctic Kiss coming in laundry. Snow Kissed Cranberry coming in counter clean. We have, listen, I'm just saying right now, if you love the fragrance flowers, the fragrance flowers for fall sold out so fast. We are launching the fragrance flowers in poinsettias this year. I'm ordering so many on at 3 a.m. because I know they're going to go. And you have the choice of Vanilla Barnwood, Cranberry Candy Cane, and Sleigh Ride. Those are the fragrances that they come in. Now, the, well, the oil looks clear in the picture, but the poinsettias look colored. So I assume these ones are going to come colored, and then they just absorb the oil. They're not actually going to become colored as you use them. It doesn't say any other way, but... I assume that's how it is. Otherwise, they're so pretty. We have so much launching. I will leave it all down below. October 1st, if you're going to be working or if you can't be up, feel free to shoot me an email. My email, all my info will be down below. 
and I will take your payment early and I will pre-order the items for you. That way you're guaranteed to get everything your heart desires this holiday season. And thank you so much for watching. I am so grateful for all the support over the years on my YouTube channel and my Sensi business. It's really been so great and I'm grateful for all of you. So thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification down below. That way you're alerted every time I upload a video here on YouTube. Make it a better world and be kind. Love you guys.